Hi students, welcome to Year 11 Chemistry and the Reactive Chemistry module. This is video number 8 and we're going to focus this time on acid and base reactions. So acid-base reactions or neutralization reactions involve the addition of a, an acid to a base. Usually those are soluble acids uh, and soluble bases and you may also see this term alkali applied to bases which are soluble in water. Neutralization reactions are also exothermic reactions, that is they release uh, energy to the surroundings, so often that um, is detectable as an increase in temperature. Probably uh, one of the simplest types of neutralization reactions is the reaction between hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. And uh, together these form water. Uh, hence neutralization, and a salt, sodium chloride, which uh, in this case would be a soluble salt. So we have an acid plus a base forming water and a salt, which is our general equation. The specific ones in this case, and if, you, if again we try and sort of separate these things out so we can have a little bit more of a look at them, what you'll notice is that the acid is going to have a hydrogen which it will donate to the hydroxide component of the base and that is where our water will come from. Conversely the um, cation that's part of the base is going to join with the anion that's part of the acid and these two together are going to form our ionic salt. So as we change up the nature of our acids and our bases, we find that we have uh, a changing nature of the salt that's involved. If I was to simply uh, replace this equation with say um, uh, nitric acid, HNO3 aqueous, and let's say we had uh, calcium hydroxide, which is uh, lime water, Then what products would we expect? Well, once again, if we go on the same basis that we looked at before, you can see that in our acid and base, we've got our hydrogen going to join with our hydroxide ions. So once again, as we would expect, we would have, oops, we would have water forming. So this time again, the key is what's the nature of the salt. So the salt here is calcium nitrate. Now of course we've got to make sure we start learning about our charges. Calcium is in the second group. The nitrate is a radical minus one so therefore the formula for this one is CaNO32. From one of the previous videos that we looked at in terms of precipitation, that sort of study of the soluble, uh, or the, uh, at least the degree of solubility of different salts, also starts to tell us whether or not in any of these reactions we're likely to get a precipitate as well. Uh, one of the general rules of solubility is that nitrates are soluble, all nitrates are soluble, so if we perform something like calcium nitrate then we can pretty much just assume it's going to be uh, a soluble salt remain in the solution. So this equation of course is also not balanced and I just need to make sure that I um, balance that up before um, I sort of walk away from that equation. So, um, so and now it is and uh, again you can see that we have our acid plus our base forming water and the only thing that's changed in this case is the nature of the salt, which in this case is calcium nitrate, whereas in the previous example it was sodium chloride. So this is just another example of the different types of chemical reactions that we will be looking at. A uh, reaction between an acid and a base is a neutralization reaction because water is one of the products and we also have a salt and the nature of the salt depends on both the uh, acid that we use and also the base. Thanks for watching.